Hello, this is hello. My name is Jai Mana. You on the Jamin Show? My guest today is 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 Steve Phoenix, the Duella Thomas from Family Matters, a wonderful actress. Hi, welcome to the show, Steve. It's so good to see you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So thank you. Um, okay, so I guess my first question is, um, what made you want to become an actress, and how did you get started on on step? Um, I actually started when I was a baby. My mom got me into it like when I was like three months old, I was a extra in Roots four, I believe it was. Um, and I played Diane Carroll's baby. So that was the first time I was on screen. Uh, I, and I think I got my first speaking role back in like uh, 1983 or something on a show called Alice's Diner. Um, and that's how I got my SAG card. And, but before that, I mean, my mom just really hustled and got me out there and then I just basically grew up doing it mm -hmm. and it was so much fun. It was just the highlight of my life of my days going to auditions every day or all, or like a lot with my mom. And she always had other people to help uh, take me to auditions and also just working on a set, being on set and just the, it's, it was such a fantasy life. Um, I mean, I, I'd be working with giraffes one day or, you know, frogs or, you know, it's just, I had the opportunity to do so much. Um, so it was just wonderful um, to grow up uh, doing that kind of stuff. Uh, so it wasn't like I was like, that's what I want to do. It was like, oh, this is what we're doing. It's like, oh, I get to go and get on camera and like be silly or do whatever, you know? And yeah. and I, I just love um, pretending. And I, I that's something I was just uh, thinking about, like, why do I like acting so much? Or what do I like about acting? Is that I love pretending and it's something from when I was little that I always did. And, oh, I mean, when I'm alone and I want to play, like, that's what I think about is like, who could I be? And like, you know, I want to have my own show. And so I pretend to have my own show and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. That's wonderful. So how you, so how'd you get, so how'd you get the role, the role on, on f f f f f Family Matters? On um, Family Matters? I, I believe I was in high school or yeah, I was in high school and I auditioned. And I had auditioned for a lot of characters on that show that I didn't get. Oh. And uh, finally, I auditioned for Casey, this bad girl that takes them to, I get them fake IDs, I take them to a strip club, and like, yeah. um, I get Urkel diet pills one episode. And uh -huh. so I'm really, yeah. Um, but yeah, I did, I did a lot, a few episodes. So, um, that was just such an amazing experience at that time. They had amazing rap parties and mm -hmm. that set was just so much fun. Um, but yeah, once I got the opportunity to be on that show and they kept calling me back, that just really made my high school life and that period of time with all those shows, uh, Sister, yeah. Sister, Smart Guy. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of different shows that were like canceled or, you know, but uh, just have the opportunity to be on the shows during that time period in the '90s was 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 amazing. Yeah, I I, I remember cause I used to watch you all the time on Smart Guy. Funny man, it's like wow, you know. So uh, yeah, cause I go watch you. Thank you. Absolutely, yeah. So um, do you still do you still keep in touch with the cast from Funny Man? Are you are you shows? Do you no, I mean other than like, well, when things were normal, I would see them. Uh, a few cast members, the ones that live in Los Angeles, um, out and about um, every once in a while. So I would bump into people, but um, I follow them on Instagram. So every once in a while, I'll get to chat with them that way. Um, like Darius and Jaleel and Sherry. Yeah. Those are the three people I would say I'm the closest in contact with. Okay, yeah, because I actually met them at a convention and what on, and they were so nice. Like I told you, they're so cool. They are so cool. Oh my gosh! And when we were young, I like really looked up to them, and like to be able to get in the car with Sherry because that's when we were just starting to drive, you know. And it's like to go to lunch and like get in a car and drive somewhere. Like it was just crazy. It was oh, it was so cool. I felt so cool, you know. <laughs> I also met you know why, and he was so cool too. Because people say, 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 I used to look like him. You know, so he's like, so. Oh like, yeah, totally. I see that you might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole Urkel character going on for sure. And that. he's such a nice guy. Um, yeah, he's really great. They're yeah. all really great. 
Yeah, I, I, I still, I still, I still have the Okadala. I think somewhere, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He was huge. Uh, I think he even directed some episodes of Family Matters, and I, I just really looked up to him in that, that, you know, level of, of, of uh, professionality to be able to take that on. Yeah, he's, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, just definitely, you know, you know, a good guy to talk to. You know. For sure, yeah. We talked a bit, you know. We took a picture. It was just, just on, just to meet him, you know, you know. And he was like, "Yeah, you look, yeah, you look, you look just like me," you know. Like, yeah, you know, brothers, you know. <laughs> go there, you go. Can't tell you guys apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was That's a good. Great. So, what advice can you give me as an? What advice can you give people that want to be an actor like you or me that want to, that want to be in the business? What advice can you? Give I would say, I mean, how I started was with extra work. Uh -huh. Um, find out where you're, where people are hiring. I mean, in Los Angeles, it's central casting. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they have uh, offices in every city or state, but I would find out where the extra work is. And that's the greatest way to get on a set, mm -hmm. see what it's like, you get that experience, and you can see if this is something you actually want to do. Yeah, because I because I'm actually I'm, I'm more than Boston Castle right now. So and I was I was actually actually in what's what's that camp with, with with Martin Lawrence and I was actually actually in here comes Boomer Kevin James. So I was I was actually wonderful, was, actually, awesome. It's so much fun, huh? Yeah, yeah, you don't get paid, but you still get some. But you still get some. You still get, get some, some exposure, you know. So that's good, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I think they have, you know, you should be able to see how you can become union in your where you live yeah. um i know there's also screen actor skill that's the union uh that is like if you really want to get serious you pay which is it's a lot of money right now um but the jobs that are offered you know either as an extra or as a principal performer there's some equity in that because you can get qualified for medical insurance which is really difficult now though because of the way things that how things are so I guess that's true. Yeah, so that's something to think about. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But there are still productions going on, so the show must go on, which is actually pretty cool. So the thing is, too, is that they have all the precautions in place, where they have um, PPE and they have people on set to make sure that you're safe. And there's a lot of testing that's happening before you go to set. You know, um, so that's that's pretty. I mean, it's far above anything that I've seen any other you know, people in the industry are doing to keep people safe right now. Well, that's true, especially now, you know, especially now with COVID going on, you have to be more careful. You know? Yeah, definitely. So how has COVID affected you? I mean, has it affected you personally? I mean, yeah, I mean, um, I'm working from home now, so that's different. Um, not so many in-person auditions anymore, but they still have them. Um, and I actually prefer them because I just, it's easier for me in the room than it is to do it at home. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I don't travel. I don't go places as much. Um, and I'm really trying to get outside and walk mm -hmm. and exercise on a daily basis. That's really a big challenge and something that like, even last night I had a whole bunch of stuff to do, but I said at midnight, I was like, I'm still going to work out. I'm not going to not miss my workout because it's uh it's important to stay active because I, I kind of like sat on the couch for a couple weeks and yeah. it was not, yeah. you know, it was like, oh, I got to stop this. I got to change. And it's really hard when you're used to being out and about and having a schedule mm -hmm. um, and going out to parties and events and red carpet events and movies. Uh -huh. um, I had to go to the drive-in and which was a lot of fun actually. So I am finding that I'm spending a lot more time at home with my loved ones and um, exploring myself and having more time to myself. Yeah. Um, I'm able to do facials for myself every week and I'm de definitely spending a lot more time on cultivating myself. So on one hand, I mean, I know that it must be difficult for people who are struggling right now. Like I can't even imagine and I know that's a reality. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just very different now. Yeah, definitely, as you know. Yeah. 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 Um, so um, I, I, are you working on, are you working on any, any new projects coming up in the future? Any um, work? Yeah, um, I have a progressive commercial that will be coming out soon. I shot it uh, last year. So hopefully we'll see it soon. 
That would be very exciting. I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to that. <laughs> okay, so what else, so what else, so what else, so what, what lies in the, in the future for you? What, what, what do you think is in, is in store for you? I'm working on a film that I directed and shot last, a, a while ago, actually. I'm editing it. And um, so that's going to be a challenge to get another film out. Um, but I've done it before. So I'm just really hoping to get it together and uh, get something out there that I can be proud of and make the people proud that are in, that participated in it. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Because I, because if I'm in California, I'll love the maybe audition for your film, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a documentary though, no audition. So when I already shot it, which is great because mm -hmm. it's, you know, with COVID and everything, it's like hard to, okay. to, to do anything with people, wow. you know, safely. So uh, now editing, I can do something, I can do that safely at home. So <laughs> it's, I have no excuses. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, when, so hopefully when the world, when the world backs up, hopefully we can get some more film done once it world, almost back up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Um, do, do, um, do, you, do you also sing? Are you also a singer? No, I'm not. <laughs> I love to think I could sing. Um, I've been doing a lot of voiceover auditions. Um, but yeah, no. Um, I, I don't know. I think if I was given something to work on, I think I could probably pull it off. But I'm by no means a singer. Yeah. Okay. I love singing, though. <laughs> I don't think anybody else appreciates it. <laughs> I, I love singing too, you know. I have some songs on myself. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure. I, I, I said something to, to me here later on tonight, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so, what's like, so I guess my next question is what is the, what is, what's like, like, like to, to be famous? I mean, I don't think I'm famous. I'm not famous. Hmm? <laughs> I'm not, I am not famous. I mean, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so I would know. I mean, I feel like some people do recognize me and that's really exciting and fun. Mm -hmm. um, and I love being able to reach out to people and, you know, say hi, and thank you for remembering me and all that. Um, but especially now, it's like you're not you're not going anywhere. So I don't get, you know, I don't get recognized at home. <laughs> yeah. oh. so, you know, it's very humbling to be able to, you know, escape from public life, wow. you know, and, and really see who you are, you know, so, okay. I, 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 you know, I, I, you just got to roll with it, you know. Okay, because you must have met, because you must have met, met a lot of stars, right, since you're in, in the business, right, you know, because, you know, because, because I see you on TV, so you must have, you know, you know celebrities, you know. I, I must have done what? I said, I, I said, I think you must, you must have met a lot of stars, right? Because you're, because you're, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I have a friend of mine, Devin Penn, and she's an amazing filmmaker and actress. And she invites me to a lot of different events. And I think that's just, just about the funnest thing in the world to just be able to go to a red carpet event, shake hands with people, take pictures with people. So, yeah, that is that is very exciting and, and get, you know, hors d'oeuvres and, yeah. you know, uh, different different little perks and things. That's always fun, for sure, the party and everything. But luckily, I have been out and I got the opportunity to do that. So I'm okay with being safe at home right now. Yeah, I, I, I think it's better to be safe at home, you know. I, I, yeah, I, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> it really is, unfortunately. But, yes, it is. Okay. So what do you see yourself? So what do you see yourself? To, uh, I, I guess uh, ten years from now, uh, uh, that down the future, you know. Um, where do I see myself ten years from now? Um, in a bigger house. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I'm just going to continue doing what I do, what I love, um, and being creative and and being playful and pretending. Mm -hmm. That's what I see myself definitely pretending in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> pretending to be somebody else, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so what do you think you can do to change the world to make them a better for the next generation, in your opinion? Um, uh, what can we do? You and I? <laughs> Me? <laughs> what can I do? Um, I think being in a, pos a positive uh, representation of a Black woman, um, uh, I, 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 and being out there and, and being positive uh, is, is what I do and, and what I will continue to do. Um, 
and uh, what, making art, mm -hmm. making things that make people laugh. For me, that's, I don't know if that really, it's not gonna like recycle anything, but hopefully it will bring joy to people's lives. So for me, that's what um, I think that my purpose is. And, you know, I just have to continue to do that is, and uh, bring, you know, characters to life um, and show people that they can dream and, and, and uh, become different, tell different stories um, and re just represent um, women that are uh, positive and strong. Yeah. Um, so that to, just to show that, uh, you know, uh, to show other other black girls that it's possible to to be to be a woman like that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be me, but you could be somebody <laughs> who, you know, just is, is a positive uh, person in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely agree. Yeah, I hear you. Um, so um, I guess the next question is, how did, how did the George Floyd incident affect you? How did the George Floyd incident affect you? I mean, how does this whole incident affect you? Because you know? I mean, it's kind of sad, you know, where is this George Floyd? How did that affect you as, a, as an African woman? Um, well, the thing is, is unfortunately, that was televised. Mm -hmm. This kind of thing is happening all the time. Yeah. Uh, it's, that, that wasn't an isolated incident for me. So I can't say that it affected me any other way than I see anybody else being put in that situation, uh, other than the fact that that was on tape. You know, there's Breonna Taylor, there's all these other, I mean, there's so many names of people that are, have lost their lives for no reason. Um, so I would say that how George Floyd affected me is the same way that all these other people that have been brutally murdered Mm -hmm. um, abused, um, done wrong. Uh, I, I, I would say that they have all affected me the same way. I, I just think that there has just been a physical representation of that now because people are taking to the streets. Um, but I feel that inside every time I hear a story, every time I see a video, every time I read something about something that's happening unjustly to people of color. Mm -hmm. Um, so I feel very sad, yeah. very sad. Um, and uh, I just hope that things can change. Yeah, me too. I, I, I think it's definitely, definitely time for a change, you know, so, you know, especially now, you know. Yeah, um, and it's like right now, as we talk, you know, they're, they're storming the Capitol building. I know, watch yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm like, kind of like side-eyeing the news right here. I mean, history is being made. And what's interesting, one thing, I, well, interesting is a horrible word to use. I hate to use it because it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean you like it or dislike it. So w one thing that I notice is uh, how much I know more about the government, <laughs> about the what's happening, what, uh, you know, uh, the different branches, w what responsibilities they have, how important all these people are. I think before it was just a class for me. And yeah, I would watch the news, but now I've, I've gotten a more bigger grasp of government mm -hmm. and and what how important that is um so um it's definitely been a learning experience to see and um th th there is going to be some changes now thankfully yeah especially joe, joe biden's president hopefully there's be some big changes here. well i think too is the senate having the senate control of the senate is is because it's one thing to have the presidency but it's another thing to be able to make uh, policy to be able to make, you know, because um, yeah. if he didn't have control of the Senate, he wouldn't be able to pass anything. So, yeah. you know, this, to me, this was the ultimate battle. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> so, yeah. You know what you're saying? Absolutely. You know, so hopefully this will be, you know, some good changes, you know, because I know Trump has to go, you know, so, you know, <laughs> so. Well, it's already done. It's not like he, there's no, <laughs> the, the discussion is over. It, it's yeah. already happened. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's it. We got a few more days. Yeah. But yeah, it's happening. So it's yeah. good. That's true. Absolutely. Um, okay. So what would you, what would you like, like to do in your spare time when you're not working? What would you like to, to do for fun travel? Um, well, I mean, I love traveling, but um, I, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get back to traveling. I, yeah. I want to go to the Maldives. I want to go to Cuba. 
Um, I just um, got in the mail my African ancestry. So I'm going to do a DNA test to find out exactly where I'm from in Africa. So I'm very excited about that because I have an idea of my African heritage, or I actually have no idea of my African heritage. I know about my American heritage, but I know nothing of my African heritage. So um, once I do find out where I am from in Africa, I definitely want to visit and see what and who my people are, since I don't know that. Um, I'm, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, in my spare time, though, I love dance. Mm -hmm. I love yoga. So I just started a modern dance uh, class called Counter Technique, which was amazing. Um, so I would take classes three times a week for that um, via Zoom. And then um, I'm doing yoga classes every day, mm -hmm. um, three, days of, three days on, one day off, three days on, one day off. Um, that's my schedule. And um, I play Frisbee golf with my boyfriend. Okay. So we, we just played uh, Monday and Tuesday morning. Um, we go to Kenneth Hahn Park and they have a great Frisbee golf um, course that takes about an hour and uh, it's about an hour and a half, a, a mile and a half of walking and, and throwing Frisbees into um, little <laughs> Frisbee mm -hmm. golf, I don't know what they're called, targets, um, mm -hmm. baskets. Yeah. Um, so I really enjoy being outside. Um, I play dodgeball. Uh, when when we can play and uh, that's been a part of my life for like eight or nine years now so I play in tournaments charity tournaments um, we play recreational dodgeball and I play in a couple different locations with a lot of great people um, and uh, that that's that's really exciting for me but now that we're not playing dodgeball um, uh, World Dodgeball Society um, we are on zoom calls so that's really helped get through the pandemic uh, to be able to be a part of a community where we have themed music throwdowns. So we're competing against, you know, which song is best. And, and, you know, we just have an hour of fun with about, you know, 25, 30 different people from all over the world. Um, so that's, it's, that's really what's really helping keeping me <laughs> together, not being able to be uh, and see people. Okay. I hear that. That sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What gives you, so what gives you inspiration? What inspires you? It makes you happy? It gives you creativity? What inspires me? Um, the opportunities that I receive. Mm -hmm. So I won't know who I'm going to be when I wake up in the morning and then all of a sudden I'll get an audition for, you know, an announcer or I'll get an audition for um, an animated character. Um, so to be able to research those characters, um, the excitement of um, trying to figure out how I can do this best, bringing myself to that particular character. Um, that is what inspires me to continue to do this, is to be able, it's that exploration, that playfulness, that unexpected twist that I don't know what's going to happen and being ready and available for that. So um, it's just, you know, yeah, I'm inspired to just be open to experience life and what it brings me and, and try to make the best of it and, and, and try to, to, to share that with everyone else, with whatever characters I get the opportunity to play. I see. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's good. Um, so if you so if you want to act this, if you want to act this, right, what's the going to be if, if you want acting? I don't think, uh, I could not, not act. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, I think performing is, I mean, I think I would be a dancer, but then I like, you know, I love dancing, but um, that is such a discipline that is just, I mean, that's just like the, the kiss of death right there. I, don't, <laughs> I would, don't even want to think about not being an actress. Like that is so much fun. It's like so much fun. If you take that part away from me, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> And that's the thing with acting. It's kind of like, if you really want to do it, you have to want it more than anything else. Um, because it just takes over your life. And, you know, you have to decide, am I going to just give myself to maybe not getting something all the time, <laughs> you know? Um, or I could just live, live a regular life where I'm not trying to take chances every day to, mm -hmm. to be somebody else, <laughs> you know? But that's what I love. So, yeah. Well, like I said, but I mean, it would, I would be in the entertainment industry, I guess. Um, my mom had a talent agency, so I really enjoyed working with her. 
um, for over 18 years. Um, she retired, she's retired now. So that was an amazing experience, but I was also able to be an actress at the same time, which was also double, double amazing. So, yeah. Okay, that's definitely good to hear. Um, yeah. So, what's the so what's the so what's the best so what's the best thing about being what's the best worst thing about being a, being an actress? You know, best worst thing about, about being an actress. To me, it's my dressing room. <laughs> I love a dressing room of a set of a set. To me, that is like the ultimate. I mean, I guess it could be boring to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, I love a dressing room, and then I went to film school, so I love crews. I love being on sets. I love um, just having a team of people at the top of their game, trying to all work together to present something and me being at the center of it. Mm -hmm. That's what I really love about yeah. the whole thing. And to be able to know enough about what everyone else is doing that I can give, I can add to whatever you know is expected of me. I, I love being able to go over and above mm -hmm. what you know, because I have certain knowledge that other people might not have. I guess that's true. Yeah, because I because I, I actually went to went to went to a, well, 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 an internship at being in you know, and I learned how to do how to do um sound how to sound mm, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I learned how to do how to do audio camera. So that's how that's how I got I got I, 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 I got my, my my podcast show. Yeah. So right, right, right. Very good, yeah. I mean, all that is so cool, right? Yeah, exactly. All the technical stuff, all the terms. Oh, that's so much fun. That's what I just love is is just, uh, there's nothing like the energy of walking onto a, a hot set, yeah. you know, and knowing that you're about to create something that didn't happen before and that everybody there had a part in it, you yeah. know? That's just, it's just like, it's like playing sports or something. It's just, it's, it's, it's got, it's an adrenaline a rush for sure. Yes, it's definitely a blessing, you know, to be able to create something, you know, and make people want to see what, what you're going to do, you know, so I definitely agree, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm also in school right now, and I graduate in June, May. Oh, I'm wow. Of, I'm, I graduate of uh, my bachelor's, my social degree in liberal liberal arts. That's Very good. Oh, awesome. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Wow. So I, I bet that's been a lot different for you, huh? Because I now have a, I now have a degree, so I can try and get a better job. In, in, in right. So, so. Oh wow! Well, yeah. That, I, I wish you luck. I mean, you know, you're doing great, though. I mean, it's great that you have these extra things that are going on, so that you can build a career for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, this is amazing that you're able to. You know, yeah. I mean, you're already doing good. So yeah, keep up the good work. <laughs> well, you're doing good too, you know. So I think it's good that. Oh, thank well, you. I think the more you learn, the more you earn, you know, so, the, you know, so it's good to learn what you can, you know, so you can try and get a better job, you know, because. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Which good that they, they can never take, take that away from you, so it's, so it's just something good to have, you know, so I definitely. Oh, definitely. It. Definitely. If you know, yeah, if you know what you're doing, yeah. it's like, it, yeah, you can, you can get something, so, yeah. for sure. You know, and, that's, and I try and try and I try, I try and help people on my show because I want to see them go far like, like, like you and me, you know, so I want to just see them, see, see them, you know, succeed in life, you know, so that's what I'm Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And you too. You too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't wait to see what's in store. Gosh, you just starting your journey. Yeah, me too. You know, I can't, I can't wait to see what's in store for you. I'm looking forward to see, to see your films, you know, your documentary. Yeah. yeah well, stuff. thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate your time and 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 so and so where can we find you so where can we find you on social media you know if you want to contact you um I have uh you can I have a fan page on Facebook mm -hmm. and it's just Venus DeMilo Thomas with a little asterisk mm -hmm. and uh, if you like the page I will post anything that I have uh that's coming out and then also uh I have an Instagram page and if you just type in Venus DeMilo Thomas you can find me there too um and go ahead and like it and i will i don't stay very active right now um um but i will always definitely post anything that i have coming up okay and, 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 and are you also on facebook because we are you also on Facebook? because that's a messenger because that's that's where you contact the messenger right oh yeah yeah it, yeah you can go to my page and and leave me and send me a message for yeah. sure Oh, perfect. Thank you. And so, uh, are there any final words you want to say to your fans before we go? Any final words you want to say before we go? Stay safe. Stay vigilant.
Absolutely, it's due to you know, and I was sending to you, I was sending to energy to you right now, so you can pull you know, more now because you know, so you can see if it's so you know, because it's all just, right. It's so it's such an honor to talk to you and blessing talk to you, you know. I can't wait to see what you. Oh, see. thank you. You're so kind. I appreciate you. Thank yeah. you for thank you for having me. Thank you for thinking about me, and uh, it was a great interview. I appreciate you for sure. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm here to come on my show, you know, and stay in touch, you know, and just just yeah. Ask, I saw your song, just just bust and talk to you and put well, on Zoom, you know, so you hopefully... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll call it in person. We'll call it in person. This is as a person as it gets. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully we can definitely meet someday, you know, be, be on. Yeah, you. that would be great. So yeah. you're in Boston, right? Yeah, in California, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sunny California. Is it cold there? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, that's why I'm trying to get famous now, because I don't want to be in Boston, because I, I hate the snow, so... I wish I was in I wish I was in California or Florida because I don't I don't like the cold so you know I'm trying trying to make a move right now you know so I can get the yeah, come on come on to the West Coast I hear you I, I couldn't do it I know I know me too I'll for 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 better soon you know so we can be yeah, yeah. that would be great man it's so nice meeting you I'll watch I'll send you right now Just take care okay see you soon Thanks. I will I will thank you so much I'll talk to you later I'll see you soon next week I appreciate it all bye -bye. right now be good bye bye. bye, -bye.